Welcome back, Mastercraft and Gaming fans. Kyle here to bring you a preview for Kings of War 3rd Edition on Empire of Dust. Let's start off with the Skeleton Deadeye Crossbows. This is a ranged unit that was introduced in 2nd Edition through the Clash of Kings packs. It was not something that was just initially in the Empire of Dust list. And what it does is introduces a new mechanic with the special rule Pot Shot. This is a ranged unit that is going to give you the ability to still introduce some form of movement without as much of a penalty as Reload would. There has been a lot of talk lately as to the changes to chariots, and so I figured I would show you one of the best possible chariot units with the Revenant Chariots and Empire of Dust. These units have different profiles now. Instead of it just being a regiment and a horde, you've now got troops, regiments, hordes, and legions. And ultimately, if you've already built up these units, you're still going to be able to use exactly the build that you have right now. We've just introduced two new build options for them in the troop and the horde. Effectively, the regiment and the uh, legion are gonna be the same things that you've been taking in the past as far as the actual base sizes. So the important things to look at here are the steady aim change. So this is a unit that can move and shoot without any kind of a penalty. And then also it's got uh, different profiles for its ranged attacks altogether. So you have one profile that you would use if you're gonna use them in combat, and then another profile that you would go into for the ranged attacks. So this is just a different approach to the unit so that you know exactly what you're doing in different phases. It lists it out specifically uh, in brackets for each different unit type. You know exactly how many shots you have if you take a regiment, how many shots you take if you take a legion. War engines are one of the types of units that have seen some significant changes in third edition, so I thought we would take a look at the Empire of Dust Balefire Catapult. This is a unit that now has two attacks in its profile, so it's not just a one and done type of shot unit. And it maybe might make you think, hey, I could take just one of these instead of three every time. It's a useful mechanic because we've also introduced two possible upgrades for it. One is stock in the profile, where you're gonna be able to re-roll some failed damage rolls, and then also a purchasable upgrade that is gonna make their attacks much more devastating when they actually hit the unit. In third edition, one of the bigger changes is the drop of formations. These should return in future supplements, but we want to make sure that the game is balanced as much as possible. So what we've done is taken some of those same rules on certain units, like the Mummies and the Amunite Pharaoh, and given them the ability to purchase an upgrade. This gives the Mummies the Elite Special Ability, and it's going to be something that kind of falls right in line with the same Mummy formation that was available in 2nd Edition. So the Pharaoh, you'll notice, also has a bump to Defense 6, where in 2nd Edition he had Defense 5. With the Wings, that's going to be a big change, but we've also changed how the Wings work, so you'll have to see how that works in a later video. So far in the preview videos, I haven't shown off any of the legendary units, and Empire Dust has a lot of really good ones. So for this video, let's take a look at two of them in particular. First off, we have the Monolith, which is a new Titan type of unit, and it takes an entirely new approach to how it did in 2nd edition. Now you have a unit that is going to be able to reach out and help support units that you have the shambling rule with all across the battlefield uh, with a 24 inch range. That's a pretty big deal. So don't need line of sight and it's a huge range to be able to cast the surge spell onto and that's a, that's a really big deal and it's not exactly a chump change thing to take off so your opponent has to decide whether or not they actually want to deal with it. Last is the Idol of Shobik which has taken some minor stat tweaks in order to get a pretty big discount. These minor changes are gonna be a huge impact on your list overall when you start saving this many points. Still does essentially the same things with its heal and its aura ability, uh, but at the same time you still got defense six. It's a huge titanic kind of creature and it puts out the pain to anything that it touches. So really nice support unit that goes hand in hand with everything else in the list. That is it for Empire of Dust. Really quick preview. You guys probably got a few extra ones out of that from me. So, uh, you know, lucky you. Uh, this week I will also be doing Orcs. So we're starting, this is the first video where we go from not just one a week, we're going to go from two a week, and they're going to be every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm heading to the Alliance Open House in Fort Wayne, Indiana for the rest of this week, and that week means I have to film both of these today, and you're going to get uh, both of them released on Tuesday and Thursday for this week. So enjoy, and uh, let me know if you'd like to see anything specific coming up. I do kind of have it scheduled out for now. Um, Ogres are coming up as soon as Jesse can film his. Uh, he's probably going to have to do it from down in West Virginia, but that's okay. I'll still put it together and make sure that it looks good for you guys. Um, he doesn't have to come all the way up here to do it. So uh, yeah, we're rolling. 